Hi, today I want to show you how to make oils. So I've gathered all my ingredients and I like to use the gloves because I don't want to get anything um, on my skin that may cause an irritation. So this for this mix, what I did, I keep them all separate for this mix as you can see. Um, I was using this for something else it's a gorgeous little, um, it was a blue dragonfly, but he got destroyed. I was a little upset about it. And so I will memorialize it by using its parts for um, an oil. As you can see there, um, always at least two wings. He cannot fly without them. So I'll show you what I did. Uh, for this mixture also I gathered it may show up much better on this surface I gathered um, some fresh honeysuckle flowers and I tend to that's a gorgeous fragrance I tend to have um, include some blossoms and some that have not opened yet as you can see some of those are different stages of opening and I'm putting this in a larger size bottle. The dropper, I put about this much alcohol in it. And I put the alcohol in it to sort of reconstitute it. It was dry. Uh, and I put the blossoms in there also. So I've got some blossoms in there. And since I used one of the large wings, I will also add another large wing in there very easy to do that may be enough blossoms but I'm just gonna add a, one more and these are large size but it fit right down in there and I had just a small amount of alcohol in there and that's why I had it cap because the alcohol will evaporate and I just kind of got it the ingredients wet with the alcohol that was in there. Generally, I'll let that sit for a day and then open that up. We don't need any more of these. That's enough to make a whole nother um, container, but I'm only going to make the one. As you can see, the ingredients are in there. And I have two separate droppers, the one for the alcohol, which it's not going to last in there long. It will evaporate really quickly. But since this is a large amount, I'm really not going to need to use the dropper. I can actually just pour this in here in the container because it's a large, it's a large enough opening. It's a large enough opening here that I can just pour this in there. If it was not this large, for instance, for some of these smaller ones, I would just use a dropper and put it in there. This is going to take a good amount. And I don't want it full, but I want enough in there to cover the ingredients that I placed in there. Now, you can add a fragrance that's optional. That alcohol does nothing. It's, it wasn't that um, much. If it was a good amount, all it would do is thin the mineral oil down and I'm just making sure it's capped up good. Uh, it would thin the mineral oil down to be able to spray it, and, but I don't want to spray it. And that's basically how you do that. This I'll let sit up. I'm not going to use it. Definitely not going to use it. That is so pretty. I'm not going to use it for a while. Uh, I'm going to let it sit for a while. I'm going to infuse it with um, energy for a few days. And then it will be ready to use 
Um, here's another item. I'll show you what this is. It just has a little alcohol in it, about the same amount. And these are some gorgeous, let's see if you can see those, pods. They have some seeds on them too. I love it when they have the seeds on them. That's what's in here. But I want enough. You need enough in here because I'm not going to, um, what do you call it, process this as you would normally process this to get the essential oils or the fragrance, the essence out of it. I must have enough in the container so that it will be absorbed. This other thing is drying up now. But this is a different herb, so I'm putting two different types of herbs in this bottle. And it's not fitting all the way down in there, so I'm going to take the dropper. You can use an ink pen. I'm just going to take the dropper and press it down in there so that it is in there. I'm capping it up just so I can um, work it around and let the rest of the alcohol at least permeate each um, of the items that I put in there. I had it laying on its side because standing up it would not do it. This, um, these two items I'm using in here um, are the pods off of Spanish moss and what is called the Virginia creeper. The Virginia creeper, well, it has leaves like this. I'll put a picture of the leaves on there. Uh, I just broke this vine off and used the, the pieces that I really need. They're um, kind of limp, but that doesn't matter. It's still, it was fresh when I plopped it off. If you don't have fresh ingredients, you can also use um, dried ingredients. See, it still has some of the and stuff on there so I like to keep some items you may have to work with a mask but these are they were nicely done because of this opening is really small I'm going to use the dropper I probably could um, as you see and this has no fragrance in it either and again, I'm using mineral oil, I'm making a mess now. I'm using mineral oil because it does not turn rancid as quickly as some of the other oils do. It will do um, similar to um, what they say, sun tea. We'll let that sit in the sun. I have a ritual that I do. I let it sit in the sun and I let it sit in the moonlight. Sunlight and moonlight. This is getting a little, ugh. But that's what I'm doing. Do not fill it all the way up. You need to leave room so that it can move around. There. Let me cap this up so as not to make a bigger mess. And now you can see the ingredients in there. And so this will sit out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I utilize the moon phases. The full moon phase is three days, the day before the full moon, the day of the full moon, and the day following the full moon. So these three items are in there. And I also let it sit out during the daytime so it will soak up three days of sunlight three days of full moonlight. Then what I will do is I will do the same thing during the new moon. And after those three days, then I will dedicate it for the purpose. And this is, um, I use the ingredients and what they are for, the, the um, properties that they have. And these items have the ability to latch on and use any suitable host to grow on.
but eventually it will choke the host out. So this is being made. I do like to infuse it with energy. Well, it's capped up now, and so I don't need these on. And I like to roll it between my hands, and it'll warm it up. I keep the purpose and the intent in mind. And so, since it moves, these things move kind of slow, but they give a nice, um, pretty, you know, appearance to the eye. So you can use these to get rid of things. It will be a gentle, gentle um, motion or working. Won't be anything abrupt. And so I love to infuse it with my own energy and intent. And then I will let it get full sun. It will do much like sun tea. The sun will heat it up some and let the essence come out of the ingredients and into the oil. And then the moonlight, I will allow it to bathe in the moonlight. And that is what I would do since I can't roll this bottle, but I can put it in my hands and handle the bottle and the oil that's in the bottle. And I would do it the same way. So I did get some of the small labels. This is a little small one. You can put the date on here as well as what the oil is for or the name of the oil. It will fit right on there and log it into your calendar and you'll know exactly what was done and when it was done until next time thank you for joining me